Hey, just a quick lesson I learned uh, that you guys might want to be aware of on these FETs. If you burn them up, you've burnt up a resistor too. I don't know if that's uh, the cause or the effect, but that's how far I've gotten down the rabbit hole. If I fix a resistor and there's still a problem, I don't know what it's going to be. But if you look here, uh, there's four pins on the input side of that chip. The first two are tied to this resistor here, 10 kilo ohm. Uh, the second two are tied to this middle resistor here, which is a half kilo ohm. You got a set of pins here tied to this resistor, 10 kilo ohm. The next set of pins tied over here, uh, half kilo ohm. So on my chip, I had burned up this side of it. So this resistor was also bad. I did not know that, so I burnt up my second chip right away. Or, the replacement chip. So I'm ready to put a second replacement on there, but I need a resistor. I gotta source those still. Uh, I learned this because if I look at the second board that I got from a member, uh, Cyclicopath, um, he had a chip burnt out right here, and his chip was burnt out on the other side. I wish I had some tweezers. So if you see here, his chip was burnt out on this side, so those two legs, the resistor tied there was also bad. And so if I look here, that resistor on this one is down here, right here. It's a 10 kilo ohm, which I've already removed, and it was reading 40 ohm, so it's pretty bad. Uh, over here, that's the half kilo ohm, and it's reading 480, so I think that's good. So put that chip, Put another resistor on this guy. So a 10,000 10, ohm. And uh, on my board, I need a half kilo ohm. So just a heads up to you guys. If you have a burnt MOSFET, you've got a burnt resistor. Make sure you replace that before you burn anything else.